Shows that we ain't gonna stand shit. Shows that we are united. Shows that we ain't gonna take it. So I want to point out to you guys in this video these two boxes that are attached to the patient. These are called chest tubes and I wanted to quickly review what chest tubes are, what they're used for, and things to watch out for as a nurse who is taking care of a patient with a chest tube. A chest tube is basically a flexible catheter that's inserted into the pleural space, which is that area between the lung and the chest wall. Its job is to remove air, blood, or fluid that shouldn't be there. Most most of the time you'll see them in conditions like a pneumothorax, which is air in the pleural space, hemothorax, which is blood in the pleural space, or pleural effusions, which is that fluid buildup. So when air or fluid collects around the lung, it prevents it from expanding properly. And this is why the patients normally feel short of breath. Once that chest tube is inserted, it helps re-expand the lung by restoring negative pressure inside the pleural cavity. The tube is connected to a drainage system with three chambers, one for collection, one for a water seal and one for a suction control. Water seal acts kind of like a one-way valve. Air can escape out from the chest, but it can't go back in. If you see bubbling in this water seal section, it could mean that there is an air leak. But then if you see something called tidaling, so the fluid levels rising and falling with breathing, this shows that the system is working properly. Kind of think of it like breathing in and out. That water seal is going to rise and fall with breaths going in and out. As a nurse, your job is to keep the system below chest level, make sure the tubing isn't kinked, and never clamp it unless ordered. Clamping can actually trap air and cause a tension pneumothorax. We also want to monitor the drainage color and amount, assess the insertion site, and always assess changes in breathing. 